So, lend my voice to this motion, which is uh, has been ably moved by the chairperson of the committee, by stating from the outset that I support it, and I'm supporting it in principle, really. Yeah, because this cooperation has been useful, has been beneficial to both Kenya and the United Kingdom over the years. Over the years, there have, of course have been issues uh, around it that we can continue to thrash out as we move along. It's very, very important that we move this, that, that we, we support this motion so that the House adopts or approves this agreement to allow the two countries uh, to continue engaging within the law. I know there's been a lacuna since the expiry of the previous agreement. And, and this agreement it, it, it must now be approved for us to operate within the law. Now, Madam Speaker, I want to agree that this is the right way to go in terms of the Treaty Making and Ratification Act of 2012. Now, no agreement can ever have the force of law, you know, unless uh, this House uh, approves the same within the meaning of this act. And therefore, by bringing this motion today, the chairperson and his committee are basically fulfilling the requirements of not only the act, but the standing orders and the constitution of this country. Uh, Madam Speaker, where there have been issues, and I'm happy that the committee is proposing the adoption of this agreement subject to some reservations. Uh, the matter of Wanjiru is very, very sad. Uh, the matter of that young lady is traumatizing, to say the least. And until it is resolved, this country shall not be at peace with itself. So uh, as we approve this uh, agreement, I really want to plead with the, the chairperson and his able committee to pursue this matter to its logical conclusion. That whatever it takes in the final analysis, let us as a house ensure that the family of this young lady finds justice, finds justice. We cannot hide behind legal technicalities or jargons to deny this family uh, that they deserve the justice. Madam Speaker, crime is crime. Crime is crime. And murder is a crime. And therefore, we cannot exempt murder among those crimes or criminal acts that the host nation is required to try. When you commit murder, Madam Speaker, in a host nation, that host nation must have the jurisdiction to try you. To try you. Whether you have left the country's jurisdiction or not, you must be extradited to face trial in a process that is fair, open, and transparent, as we believe our judiciary should be, Madam Speaker. And therefore, because we may have similar cases in the future, yeah, what, what shall we be telling Kenyans, especially my good friends from Lycapia, who are hosting this facility, that in future, if any other Kenyan would face off the fate of Wanjiru, it would just go like that. No, no. We must send out a very strong message uh, that anybody in this country who is aggrieved upon by these forces, this visiting, uh, the visiting nation forces, will have, to, will, will have the chance to get justice will have the chance to get justice. Madam Speaker, I have had occasion to read this agreement, the draft agreement, which we are being called upon to approve. And I agree that corporate social responsibility must be given more emphasis, must, more attention. A lot more emphasis must be put on the matter of corporate social responsibility. This basically also ensure that there is harmonious relationship between the communities. Uh, uh, and, the, and, this, and these foreign forces. Finally, Madam Speaker, I will be recommending that we develop a mechanism, and a mechanism to not only carry out due diligence on those officers who will be visiting our country on these missions, but also be able to debrief them before they leave eventually, if only to safeguard our national interest in terms of security and so on and so forth. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I